Now, there are two phases of incubating. Day 1 to day 18 and then day 18 to 21. So, day 1 to day 18, you place the eggs on the rollers. This is where the, you place your eggs. The rollers, they turn automatic, which in return turns the eggs. For the rollers to turn, you have to connect this motor to the upper part of the incubator. Like that, so that the controller will send the signal to the motor to turn the eggs when it's time to turn. Just on the sides, this is where you add water. Okay, there are four holes where you add water. So you can either decide to use one opening or just distribute the water to the to all the, the four openings. But I suggest you put water the two ends. So this one and this one here because because of the circulation of air so that it's heated faster they want to day 18 the eggs are with the rollers when it gets to day 18 you transfer them from the rollers okay but before i get to that water how much water do you need so day one you add 50 ml of water okay Add 50 ml of water, let the machine run for one hour before you place the eggs, okay? Now, once the machine has, run, has gone for one hour, you've, add, you've placed your eggs, it's already turning, everything is okay. When do you add water again? So this is what guides you, okay? This is the humidity reading, this is the temperature reading. So for the temperature reading, usually it ranges in between 37 point. 8 to 38 so you don't have to worry about this the incubator controls on its own for the humidity it keeps on changing depending with the amount of water that is inside the incubator so anytime from day 2 to 18 anytime the this goes below 45 you add 50 ml of water anytime so this is what guides you on at what time to add water anytime it goes below 45 from day a two, day two to day eighteen. So long as it's below forty-five, you add fifty ml of water. When it gets to day eighteen, you transfer the eggs from the rollers to the hatching unit. So you disconnect this, and then you remove the rollers, as you can see, and then you place the eggs on the hatching unit. So this is the hatching unit. You are removing the eggs from the rollers, placing them on the hatching net because of two reasons. One, the rollers they turn automatic, so you don't want the chicks to be strangled. Two, when it gets to day 18, the chicks are already fully formed, so you don't need them, you don't need to disorient them. That is why we are placing them on the hatching net so that they are not being turned. So once you place them on the hatching net, there's a small bottle. There's this bottle that comes to the incubator. So what you do, you add water to it and then you spray the eggs. Each and every egg, single spray. Single spray for each egg, single spray for each egg, until you're done. The reason why we are doing that is because we need the shells to be soft. When it's time for the chicks to pack out, it will be easier for them to break the shell so that they're not, so that they won't die inside the egg. Because of uh, being subjected to heat, sometimes the shell become hard, which is hard for the chicks to, to pack out. So you spread them with this, single spray for each egg so that the shell can be soft. Now, when it gets to the 18, you've transferred the eggs, you've sprayed them with water, you increase the amount of water that you've been adding to 100 ml. Okay, so at this point, the humidity here should not go below 65 so anytime it goes below 65 you add 100 ml of water day 18 all the way to 23 anytime the humidity reading goes below 65 you add 100 ml of water okay now there's this torch as well we call it a candy torch its work is to assist you in knowing or it to show you if there's the development of the embryo inside the eggs that are already incubating. So to do that, you can only use it as from day 10. Okay, when it gets to day 10, just open it. Then you 
need three batteries triple a close it like that and then you press here so once you press it it will be light enough so so this is your these are your rollers you have the eggs nicely so what do you do make sure this uh make sure it's dark where you are so that you're able to focus the light on on an egg so what you do just press it and then illuminate the egg it will show you what is inside usually by day 10 there's a formation of blood veins and a black spot inside so if you if you if you if you spot an egg and it has blood veins already uh there's a formation of a black spot inside then it means it's already forming there's already development but if there's if you spot an egg and there's no development inside there's no blood 